Boom. Here we are. I, I, I was outside, uh, Lindblom here, and I've been grinding. As you can tell, I have all of Zidane's, like, abilities learned at this point that I can learn. Right. Everything is learned. Mm -hmm. Nice. It, 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 level 16. it took me longer <laughs> to do that than it took to, like, get f from Dolly to here. It, <laughs> it was a fucking long time. <laughs> but every time I go back to this game, I, I, go, I go, I expect it, the graphics to look a little... I mean, they're still good, but like a little... Well, clearly this was in the 90s. But no, it still holds up. I'm like, ah, damn, they still... I know they've been touched up a little bit. Yeah, they... The backgrounds, when they made them, you know, the static kind of backgrounds, they're... They're always gonna look fairly good. Yeah. yeah. I love the style. Yeah, it has a very nice charm. It's sort of like a play, when you think about it. Just, like, the backdrop, and you see the actors up front. Oh, yeah. I can very much... Uh, see what you're talking about. Now here, I'm being kind of a dumbass. I think there's something <laughs> here that I can look at, and there's not. Uh, there is something up the fucking stairs that I can get if I ever go up there. There you go. You thought you did, or you saw a context-sensitive doodad? I remembered mm. incorrectly that mm. I'm in the wrong place. Leather plate, is that any good? Eh, I think I already have one. <laughs> I uh, just curious. Because usually for a thief, leather with anything you know substantial to it is great. At this point in the game, it probably is the best uh, equipment that he can equip. Because of your sales trick, I think you, you bought yeah, it somewhere. I probably did. Yeah. I probably just said, "Fuck it, I'm buying it." <laughs> uh, you can afford to do that. Hell, you can just buy off the entire continent and say, "I own this bitch now." The true ending of this game. The hero just buys the kingdom back, being like, Okay, get out. Get out, it's mine now. <laughs> but I'm the queen! Nope. Don't care. <laughs> this is the... This is the medicine shop. I don't need anything. Except, uh, I think I... I might buy something... No, I didn't. It's always good to know where it is. And I'm looking for context clues again, because I'm trying to show off stuff, but it's not there. <laughs> again, I'm remembering things incorrectly. I thought there was a sign there I could read. Uh. <laughs> and this episode is basically me just running around Lindblom and stealing everything that isn't nailed down. Well, gotta live up to that thief class. Oh yeah. If it works in Skyrim, it can work here. Here I'm dancing around. I think I was making myself a note to tell you that's that is where you leave Lindblom to go grind stuff. Ooh, active time with Vivi shopping. <laughs> Vivi shopping. <laughs> oh. I would like to buy some nuts. <laughs> I, I was in this this place just two seconds ago. Where the fuck was he? Well, like anybody. Any party. You got the people who run everywhere really quickly and do things. And you have those who meander and look and check over things. <laughs> and Billy's clearly the second one. While you went in went out and just probably passed him by. Yeah, he's probably up in there in a the corner going, oh, I told you I didn't want your help. Go away. Or he was on the back looking for various, looking at their various wares they keep hidden from the current populace. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to know what Alice has in the back. Probably Kubo nuts. And so Alice is not very good at, you know, context. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Shit keeps on. I look away for a second, wet, and then when I look up. I see, the, like, her phrase talking about presidents, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna say what the fuck, too. 
See, this is the air cab. I can go to these three places. I believe I go to the industrial distance first, and you can't hear it because the video is muted, but these air cabs in this PC port are making the most horrific sound I've ever heard. I have it in like maybe one sound, so I can just barely hear it. it, it uh, is it the turning of the fans you're talking about? Yeah, but it's not supposed to sound the way it does, like when I, I recorded it. It, it, mm. it, it sounds a lot better in the PlayStation version. I do not know what the hell happened, so I'm going to apologize for that because it's fucking awful. There's a There's kitty. Another, <laughs> another demonic cat who hunts and eats, you know, anything at once. Look at how big that motherfucker is. I swear yeah. to God. Hey, what do you think? I don't know what the hell this is. I forgot this existed. Put it in the back? Oh, they're talking about uh, engineering, apparently. <clears throat> so, I, so I just talked to him again so I could agree. It's probably something like if you talk to him X amount of times or X amount of, uh, of uh, uh, combinations you get it's some easier. Like Probably yeah, there, there is a place in the game later on where that happens. I probably will fuck up the combination it's that fine. I need to do. And I'm back in here because there's... there we go. So like a... Is that a Shrek troll? It's it a is... Troll. it is a, a, a tapir man. It looks like a Shrek troll. Yeah, it kind of does, but if he turns around you can see his tapir face. It looks like the love child of Shrek and a uh, drowsy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh, you no. for that mental image. <laughs> oh, no problem. At least he's wearing pants. Yeah, he is this wearing is pants. This is fair. Unlike his mother. And this weirdo has... Uh, his house is a steam engine for some reason. And he doesn't find this... Mm. Uncomfortable. Maybe he likes the heat. I mean, yeah. He really fucking hates winter. I know people like that who, you know, if it's a brisk chill out, they put on eight layers of clothing. <laughs> that would be my sister. She can't stand being cold. <laughs> yeah. And then I know the people who walk out with Crocs, shorts, and a tank top, and like uh, six foot high snow, and go, what's the problem? Yeah, I want to punch those people. I had a friend like that. No matter what weather, he'd be wearing shorts and sandals. It'd be like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> then he moved to Minnesota. Well, <laughs> it was it wasn't cold enough for him. <laughs> God, move to Minnesota where the cold. where your nipples will fall off directly if you step outside in the winter. Well, if Dumpler is right, we have infinite nipples. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I remember seeing a post where someone was like, Do we have infinite nipples? And then someone was like, yeah. So, I think that other person was like, Oh, then I can just cut off my nipples and they'll regrow. And, so and it's like, uh... What the fuck? No! Shady, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Yeah, someone else coming on that was being like, wait, no, don't do that. You don't have in infinite nipples. Once they're gone, they're gone. Infinite nipples. No, I believe the sensation of pain would stop him from getting that far. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> why would anybody even... Why would you even want to cut your nipples off? What are you going Please. to do with your cut-off nipples? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna mention that Steiner wandering around going, where the fuck am I, is great. Yeah, he he can't find his <laughs> way around because the town is too big. Yeah. I'm from a smaller city ruled by women. <laughs> they know how to organize their shit. You guys don't. This is like going <laughs> from a one-lane town to someplace with an overpass and roundabouts and all that kind of shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't help this is a city on inventors, so they put bridges where they don't need to go. 
you know, airlifts where they don't need to go, fucking elevators where they don't need to go. So going anywhere, you could take a hundred different routes and probably find yourself in, you know, 30 different places. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. The maps have got to be just completely fucked. Yep. This, this place, I'm dancing around again because I have to come back here later. Alright. I'm I, just gonna assume when you start dancing, it's something important. I I assume that too, but then I forget what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> oh hell! <laughs> now she ran off. I don't know if this is her friend. I get confused here, like incredibly confused. Member no number thirty-six. How are they members of? They're members of a fan club for this actor that I'm going to go Ooh. look at right here. This is mm. a weird fucking sequence right here. <laughs> Moogle Wannabe 2. Mm. What the mm. shit? I wonder if that's the, this world's version of Lethal Weapon 2. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> The slow decline of the Lethal, Lethal Weapon series. Yes, they're still fun, but you just can't capture the original's charm. No. See, and I, I keep talking to this lady because I think I can tell her that her friend just fucking left. But I can't, and I can't tell her friend that she's waiting for her. But I keep <laughs> Come trying. On, Come on, Zidane, you are not a silent protagonist, goddammit. Now, I walked in here to steal these chests, but I have to watch this this little cutscene first. Because this is uh, Tantalus's hideout. They live in the fucking clock tower. Walker's taking a nap. What do you want to do? <laughs> and here's Garnet in the castle. She can't fucking do anything and it's pissing her off. You know, for for how much Garnet ever gets pissed off. <laughs> she just gets fussy. She doesn't get pissed off, really. She has a very low baseline for angry. She, yeah. She's clearly angry, but she doesn't, you know, go over the top, no. really. Kind of starts uh, for being suffocated by your mother for several years. Yeah. She doesn't really get angry so much as she just acts out and goes, I want to suddenly, you know, be kidnapped by a wandering troop of idiots. <laughs> wandering troop of idiots. That's about right. I mean, yeah. that, that's mean. They're actually extremely competent for what they are. Yeah. But they're still but... a bunch of idiots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But they're nice idiots. They're nice idiots. Yeah, yeah. They also have Vivi, so that's a plus. No, I wasn't talking about the party, I was talking about the, the airship full of quote-unquote actors, but... Yeah, sure, the, the party are a bunch of idiots too. Yeah, this, this is both true. <laughs> hmm. And these One kids group. are trying to get into the thief troop. And they apparently- everybody apparently knows that this is a thief troop. So... I don't know... Why? A little bit of money. Yeah, these chests, like, restock during- oh, really? Yeah, during <laughs> different area- sure. Yeah, different areas Thank of the game, God. you can come and open them again. And it'll have more so, stuff. Yeah, but like every- I'm gonna say monthly, uh, monthly quarter. The thieves go back. Oh, that was a good haul. Let's store our cash, and the lock just wanders through and goes. Oh, who's the master thief? I'll take my cut, and walks back out. And they're going, where the fuck's our money go? I don't know. You're storing the den of thieves. Maybe one of the others took it. And here I finally am going through the key items. They're kind of interesting. They got little um, blurbs to read, and they're kind of they're kind of cool. <laughs> See, that's, like, that's where the, that little ship that the guy wants the, the coffee, 
it would go into your key items and you'd just have it there. Gotcha. That dude turned around. Fuck you and his crew. Awesome. I love this guy. You know, L Force Punch. Yes, we're talking about you, <laughs> jackass. <laughs> and we'll be seeing this place fairly soon. See, in that river that it made a big deal about showing, they just walked along the river and got out of the got out of the forest. Hmm. Now they're talking about Blank and how he's, you know, kind of a statue. See, Baku thinks. He's got yeah. a brain. Yeah. Let's also take a, a couple pickaxes and chip him out of the tentacles and just bring him in the now, you know, cut off tentacles to some place and then unpetrify that. You'd think that would, you know, work, but... Yeah. Effort. Yeah. Storytelling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's ma I mean, it's magic bullshit. You could always it's say, oh, for some magic reason, if you separate him from the other, the rest of the petrification spell, it breaks and everything goes to shit. The forest will know. <laughs> God damn it, Baku needs a uh, forcey box. You're yeah. right. Yep, trying again. Didn't work again. It's a goddammit lady. So I spun out of her and said, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, the mini spins of Zidane. And here, here Zidane makes an ass of himself. Never. Uh, oof. Zidane making ooh. an ass of himself? Yeah, he uh, does what? that. Oh, All right, buddy, go home and jump into a vat of aloe. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna need it after those burns. <laughs> Be here in a minute. Look at oh, this fucker. Okay. Oh, it's the fop. <laughs> Look at this on. What's so special about him? Oh, motherfucker. I don't know. This this always makes me giggle. And he's playing a giant fuck off Moogle. <laughs> he's not actually playing the Moogle, he's just. Oh. He's using the Moogle suit to get the hell away from these crazy oh, okay. ladies. Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was, like, getting in the costume for a minute. No, he did. He took the costume. And... Well, I mean, like, he's gonna. For the play that's ah. evidently about to happen, I'll give him cookies. <laughs> See, and I'm trying to again talk to somebody and tell them that their friend is upstairs, just standing there. You think he'll come out? Oh, he came out. <laughs> this poor lady's gonna be standing here for fucking ever. Aww. The big Moogle came by, he seemed kind of ditzy. <laughs> now if you go down into Michael's uh, little studio here, there he is. Hey, it's the fall. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I give him an autograph, or I get an autograph. See, now you just got the most powerful weapon in the game. You, What you do is you fashion into a paper airplane, you throw it at somebody, and then they're attacked and torn apart by fangirls. And look look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's... He's trying to get an artist to do other things. <laughs> Good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> Artists are fickle bastards. Here we go. I'm stealing your Moogle suit, by the way. Bye, motherfucker. Oh, that's <laughs> where the Moogle suit went. I almost coughed soda through my nose. Ugh. Good luck getting away from the crazy ladies now! <laughs> That's another key item, I can't do anything with it. There's ah. a part in the game where it seems like you can do something with it, but you can't. 
and I don't know what the point stealing, is. Stealing the Mughal suit is its own reward. There's a part I have to edit out that I forgot. Whoops. Whoops. For some reason, when you get into that air cab and get out of it and come down those stairs, you have to wait for the air cab to move oh. before you can move. Sort of weird. And uh, Sh Shady, Shady died. Dropped. Shady died. He completely popped off. I think his internet fucked him over. Well, I gotta say, I do love the cogs in this town. Yeah. The design of this entire place is pretty cool. Like, I'm pretty sure when I was little, I just stopped my screen wherever the, wherever the cogs were and just stared at them for like 10 minutes. <laughs> they were, they are very good, well animated. Yes. So. And this guy is nerding out over our old ass airship. <laughs> Although it's not technically ours, we kind of stole it, and I don't know what happens to it after this. I think it gets... Uh, I think it gets the axe, but I don't remember. It just kind of disappears. Here's where I was looking. There we go. This is what I thought was in that little church. Oh. No place to insert the metal. Ha ha. Resident Evil joke. Oh. I was, thinking, I was like, insert the metal? I was like trying to remember if there's a metal we got or the hint or something. Like, no, it's just a reference. Stop yeah. thinking, you idiot. Mm. <laughs> it's just a dumb reference to. To Resident Evil. And here's Steiner. The princess has apparently disappeared and I just walked in the door and of course, who gets to blame? I love that the guard's gone too. You know, the guard who was standing like right in front of the fucking room. Yeah. You must have had to go pee or something. I, I kind of want to think that she asked him that, uh, would you give me like a... a, a, a Cookies and milk, just something like really innocent. And the moment he walks out the room, you know, she's gone. <laughs> like, see you later, sucker. I just want to. Oh, there's a Moogle there, so fuck it. She could have said, look, there's a Moogle, and then just ran. Yeah, there's so nothing I'm... distracts. Oh, Moogle bastard. Yeah, he's got a letter, and he's really fucking excited for this letter. Wow, what an interesting letter. <laughs> okay, he's got a letter. Good. And we're saving. And we're done. Okay. Giant ass book out of nowhere. You know, dude, you could be doing something with this magnificent power to summon giant books. <laughs> Just pull books out of your ass, yeah. Squashing the world's biggest spider. Or, you know, just dropping books on some fools who need books dropped on. Yeah, you could, if you can summon books, you can just drop a ton of books on somebody and kill them. It's not even a, a ton of books, it's literally a book the size of the Moogle and it's about as thick as well. Yeah, that would probably do some damage. Yeah. Well, I just wait 10 minutes because you guys aren't good at your job. So here we go. We're gonna find out exactly where that guard went that you said something about, which is funny. Cause we yeah. have to, um, we have to sneak on that lift. Bing bong. Hey, Shady. Look. Oh, uh, I look died. Down. Hello. He's sleeping. What the? God damn what it, man. Are we on? Oh. We um, are at twenty-four, twenty-two, twenty-three. Yeah. Now. Probably just go. 24.30 and you'll be on, on the slightly ahead of us. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm knocking out a guard in the royal palace <laughs> and stealing his uh, shit. You mean a nice. guard? This is the second time Zidane's done this. <laughs> They're not he good at their jobs. Good. Yeah. He yeah, has to get good at it. Well, that was, uh, shitty, good yeah, Wait. shitty guards everywhere. 
mean, there's one they fear. He leaves you naked in a closet. <laughs> we we never hear from that guard again, by the way. I don't know what happened to him. I'm a little worried. I'm, ass I'm assuming they led him out of the closet and go, dude, what the hell happened? He goes, the scrawny kid with a tail beat me up. It's like, really? Is that the story you're going with? <laughs> um, I'm lazy. There you go. I'm lazy is better than I got my shit kicked in by a teenager with a tail. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Suddenly cutscene, by the way. God, these look so good. I don't know what he's looking at there when he's going up the stairs. I, he's not looking. I think he's he's uh, hearing, he's hearing her music and he's pausing to. Uh, She's uh, like ten uh, feet away from him. I think he's pausing to listen. So you know, if he walks up, he'll interrupt her and she'll stop. Like just now. He scared the birds, by the way. She's a fucking that. Disney fucking princess over here. <laughs> Fuck the birds. Nope. Oh, end the video. Wait, no, that's not in the video. What? It's a very abrupt stop. Yeah, it, I it, that particular cutscene just goes black at the end, and I don't know. I don't understand it. It's, yeah, it's like, ah, we'll fix it in post. It's not a movie joke. You can't fix it in post. It's, yeah, it's a video game. You can fix it whenever the fuck you want. <laughs> and they just don't. Always, oh. is like. 1,800 other freaking things to do in this game. This is a weird little thing. You look through this telescope, there's like seven or six or seven places that you have to look at before you can uh, continue going on with the game. You just have right. to look through this, this telescope at this shit. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Zidane, make, Zidane makes little comments. <laughs> Uh, yes, Zidane Zidane. Yeah, Potato it, Momato. I know it's Zidane because I played Dissidia, and they pronounce it Zidane, but it still fucking looks like Zidane. So Be sometimes fair, my brain goes, ugh. I've read and watched series that pronounce the same word or same name three to four different ways, depending on what actor, what character, or what writer is using it. Yep. There's a Kokobo, by the way. Or Chocobo. There's another word that I can't fucking say. <laughs> Chocobo. It's Chocobo. I, I, and I know it's yeah. Chocobo, but it keeps coming out Kokobo. Like it's a fucking nut. Well, it's because you programmed to say it because it's uh, like chocolate or cocoa. Yeah. Well, always, the thing is, uh, though, chocolate spelled differently. You say, um, oh, it's a, a derivative from a. Uh, um, Co the the cocoa plant is not uh, cocolate, it's chocolate. I always found that very humorous. If I ever uh, get a child, I'm going to teach them that the proper uh, pronunciation is cocolate and just be the shittiest parent of the year. <laughs> an asshole. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I want to see how long it lasts. To be fair, you can't be any worse than my mother. <laughs> oh god she told my sister she's like my sister turned seven she's like congratulations you're ch you're seven now and Alita's like what the fuck is so great about seven and mom goes too many people have seen you now I can't kill you anymore <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck oh god <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear, your mother is either a Bond villain or a Bond assassin. I don't know which. Oh, she was such an asshole. Oh, yes, yeah, the song. She doesn't know where she heard it or anything. Disney princess bullshit. Yeah, she's she's got a Disney princess bullshit going on in her background. Yeah, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Although it's yeah. a very it's a very well done pr Disney princess bullshit, yeah. so I don't care. No, there's no idea that can't be done well. That's why horrible <laughs> ideas find good characters to work them. 
And there, that little bit of dialogue about such fine armor in a place like this, I forgot to look at that armor when I was in that shop. Oh. And Zidane's, Zidane looks at that same armor and goes, what a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> of course he's an armor collector. Just Never hamster man. Too much armor. <laughs> yeah, that hamster man, I don't know why, but that hamster Ooh, man, solid. you know, with oh. all the other animal people, the hamster man freaks me out. I'd say this hippo child freaks me the fuck out. Yeah, for some reason the hippo child is fine, but the hamster man. I can't take the cane? hamster man. Is it the dapper suit? I don't know. <laughs> I is have no idea. Off red color. So honestly, the, the off red is kind of bothering me <laughs> more than the hamster man. Oh, poor Vivi. Uh, Freya, yay! God damn, Freya! Watch her. Watch her jumping. Look at this. She does this weird, you know, she just kind of bends her knees and flies. Because she's a dragoon knight, and they jump. <laughs> yep. That's, that's the thing. Yep. She's fucking ridiculous. In cutscenes, anyway. Oh, she's always ridiculous. See, and here's... Oh, God. Here's Sid failing because his mind sucks, because he's a bug. Yeah. And I'm hearing the 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 little bit of the background, very rare and very uh, little used vocal work in the music track. And God, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. When yeah. Dagger sings that song and they use like the voice MIDI version of the song, yep. it's actually really cool. Yes, it is. I mean, it's essentially la la la. You know, played to various. Any extremes, but here's the Don <laughs> being a moron, by the way. Oh, you mean it's Tuesday? Fuck. Yep. <laughs> it actually is Tuesday, so yes. It oh is? yeah. Oh. Shit. <laughs> you dead. Yeah, it's the dates. All right, monkey. I kind of want him just to fall. You know, uh, you know, like, oh no, my screwed around. His scully got to me. Then he remembers, I have a tail, and he catches himself. <laughs> Of course not. He has enough balance that he's not going to fall off. Oh. The, and here is where we start the festival of the fucking hunt. I fucking hate this. <laughs> it's not hard. Ooh. It's not difficult. It's puppies. just tedious. It's the puppies. <gasps> Goofy ass faces. I love them. So the festival of the hunt is um, they release all these monsters into the city streets and send idiots to go and kill them all. And they get points. What the fuck? They get points depending on what they kill and how many they kill. It's essentially run of the bulls, just slightly more organized and slightly more dangerous. Actually, no, slightly less dangerous. Because <laughs> in the run of the bulls, we have no weapons, no magic. No fantasy bullshit to stop the bull from running you the fuck over. And here's this thing. You don't get a good look at it. There it's it a, is. It's a giant boar thing. Oh, it's tusks come out of its chin for whatever reason. It's the weirdest looking thing. Oh, it's like yeah. It looks like it's on steroids. It uh, is. Oh. Oh. On all the roids. Of it's 12 minutes, and whoever wins gets the prize. Oh, I remember this. Isn't it like it's timed, and you have to either get the most points or, or something, and you're competing with the other contestants, and they can actually beat yeah. you in points? They can actually beat you in points. Yeah. It's really stupid. Or they, oh. or they can do very shittily, or they can do almost outlandishly good. Yeah. And here's Zidane being an asshole again. I hope he stops <laughs> doing this pretty soon. Hello, Freya. You're not part of our party yet. So we are going to treat you like somebody else. So here we go. These three are, you know, who you focus on for points. <laughs> if Zidane wins, you get uh, money, which I don't need. 
If Vivi wins, you get a card, which is incredibly lame. But if Freya wins, you get an add-on, which is uh, a piece of equipment. And it's a very, very good piece of equipment for this part of the game. And for beyond this part of the game, even. Ooh. Oh. Go Freya. So, so next time, yeah. we're going to do the Festival of the Hunt. Nice. See you then. Please.